hello guys welcome to let's talk diesel and today's video we're going to talk about the uh, ATS from Cummins this uh, uh, after treatment device for Cummins it's uh, very popular nowadays because uh, Packard International and Cummins itself right they use it for their engines this is where you're gonna see if your engine is one of those and we're gonna walk through what uh, all this about and as you can see right now this is the whole assembly uh if you check it out uh volvo uh after treatment device or detroit uh those are a bit heavier than this one that's the reason i believe why packard and navistar are using this design for their engines and right now i'm gonna show you from beginning to end what is in this filter all right so this is the uh, back side of the of the assembly as you can see we have the the inlet from the dpf for the doc sorry and the outlet for the acr as you can see here you can see the set one of the sensor is covered uh this is the knock sensor the one that's covered in there and we have the the particular motor sensor in here all right we will be back to those later on the video all right so from the beginning right you will see okay we're gonna divide the after treatment device right now this part that you see in here this part before the clamp okay this is the doc all right this little piece in here okay it's quite expensive too it's more expensive than the dpf itself okay the next one that you see here between these two clamps in here is the dpf all right this is the next part that always comes after the doc okay this next part that you see here when the def injector is sitting it's the when the mix occurs after you know uh, after the dpf uh, the gases from the dpf leave this is the mix which occurs with with the def fluid all right and at the end this whole part in here is the rcr okay so as you can see the after treatment device in this case is divided in four pieces but compared to detroit or volvo devices you can see this one it's a little bit lighter i believe as i told you earlier in the video that that might be the main reason why they need this device in their engines to disassemble your after treatment device uh, it's really uh, simple it's not complicated uh, you see this clamp in here you see how uh, one two and three so if you want to just remove the dpf and the doc uh, you have to remove this clamp and this clamp all right and just remove these two bolts in here on the front and another two bolts here on the back and you have to remove this um, um, the pressure outlet uh, and the DPF inlet uh, temperature sensor as you can see uh, it's not that hard to disassemble it it's uh, really simple uh, you can see we have one clamp holding this filter in here and another clamp in here this is uh, for international uh, uh, chassis uh, Cummins chassis uh, it's quite different because Cummins has something that holds the filter in here uh, personal speaking I think uh, that uh, that's better because it holds the filter without you holding it at all and on internationals you really need to hold the filter 
in order to stay on place so you can put the clamps especially the ones on the front because usually what you're gonna remove uh, when you need to clean the when you need to clean the DPF but uh, for minions I think uh, it's easier to remove this DPF filter if you have to in the future all right so right now we're gonna start checking out the sensors that comes with the this after treatment device and we're gonna start with the DOC temperature sensor all right this is the inlet one okay this is a this is the one that measures the pressure that comes after the turbo okay and as you can see we follow this line here you see it ends in here uh one of the things you need to be aware about these devices is like uh, if one of these sensors here for example you can see this is the temperature sensor okay if one of these sensors because this is a, a temperature assembly uh, box if one of them is damaged you had to replace the whole box this box cannot be replaced just by one sensor just you cannot replace just one sensor you have to replace uh, all of them or you have to replace the whole box so that's one of the things you need to uh, be aware about this uh, design okay uh, you can see this is the connector for the main harness you see this connection is the one that goes to uh, the next harness uh, that goes uh, in, inside the truck already okay and it has uh, you see two, it's a 14 pin harness and it connects all the sensors that you see around here if your truck has probably open circuit or things like that you should start say, checking all this part first before you go beyond this point all right so if we continue following okay we're going to the back side of the filter okay as you can see this is the this is the part you will see when you remove the fairing for your truck this is the main thing and right now we're going in the back of the uh the after treatment device uh you can see this is the dpf inlet temperature sensor and if we follow you see it will be ending in the same box all right those uh this uh this is the dpf uh dpf uh inlet uh, pressure sensor or doc outlet pressure you can call it whatever you want it's the same thing and the dpf outlet pressure sensor and we see we see here we have the uh delta pressure sensor you know the one that measures the pressure between the outlet and the inlet uh, you see the connection in here okay, you can if you have any problem with this you can start from here checking all this wire around okay next we have the dpf outlet temperature sensor and you can see we follow it will exactly in this box in here okay if we want to continue checking the temperature sensors okay this is the one that is for the scr for the outlet okay this one doesn't come with the scr inlet temperature sensor because it does not need it i believe the temperature between this part of the uh, of the uh, after treatment device and this one it uh, doesn't vary that much so they don't add it and this all these four sensors end on that box okay guys at the end of the filter we have as i told you at the beginning this is the knock sensor you mean the outlet knock sensor and if we follow you see this is the connection in here it ends in here it looks quite the same with the uh, Packards and and Packards and Detroit, but I believe they don't fit. 
properly you will be able to use it if this part fits yeah i believe it will work but i haven't tried that yet so let me know in the comments down below if you already tried that guys so next we're going to check it out the uh, particular matter sensor and as you can see a pm sensor and we follow as you can see we follow this line here and it ends in this box uh, this one seems the same like in the other video from volvo after treatment device but this connection is different it's not the same uh unfortunately this one is broken as you can see here yeah probably when the truck got the accident it broke this part but uh to replace it it's not that hard you can see it's on the top of the filter so that helps a lot and that's about it about the sensors now we're gonna check it out uh, another thing we were forgetting and it's the the def injector you see you see uh this is in on the top yeah this is the the uh, outlet and inlet ports when the in, where the uh, def you know flows around and as you can see, uh, this one does not need any more uh, uh, a cooling device. Not like Volvos. Volvos, I believe, is the only uh, manufacturer that right now uses cooling system around the um, DEF injector. But other manufacturers like Detroit, um, uh, Kenworth, Navistar, they don't use that anymore. And actually, now Freilander uh is using this after treatment device for a couple years that this after sorry this uh def injector for a couple years now and yeah it works really it's fine it's easy to replace as you can see this one's on the top as well it's really easy to access i believe um in my personal opinion now that we you know check all the after treatment device around uh I believe this after treatment device is good but the only thing is like it takes the same time to do region like Volvo and Freilanders and I suppose well it's part of the software I believe but for the for the size of this device I believe it should take shorter times you know but we'll see later on the road how this one uh, how how this goes with this after treatment device at the end a couple years more because i believe this one is being on the market like for five years probably let's see yeah that's what i think for five years maybe a little bit more but it doesn't have 10 years now nah. it has like half of the time like uh other after treatment devices so that will be for me today guys uh, thanks for watching the video and remember to subscribe and it's always a pleasure to you know show you all these things i will see you in my next one bye